Hi, I'm Marcy Dagman, the aspiring gardener, and today we're going to make a basil sandwich. Now there's two kinds of basil that work really well for that, and that's your typical Italian basil, which is what I have here, which is a nice sized leaf. The other one that's really popular is called lettuce leaf basil, and mine isn't big enough yet, but it gets quite a bit bigger, so it really lays on the bread just like a piece of lettuce would. So both of those are really good, but I'd stick with the basic basil. You can try the others if you'd like. And my favorite sandwich, as simple as it is, is a turkey tomato basil sandwich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sourdough because that is just perfect. You can toast it. If you'd like to have whole wheat, you can always do that. Spread your mayonnaise. If you want to add mustard, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it because basil is strong tasting and it gives you enough flavor right there. So I do probably put my tomato next because it's heavy. And your onion. Purple onion is always the best, but any onion will do. I have provolone cheese today, but cheddar's great. Whatever kind of cheese you want to use is perfect. I guess that'll fit pretty good there. Let me go ahead and shape that to the sandwich a little bit. Okay, and the reason I waited is because the basil will go on kind of like your lettuce. That way it'll stay. So what I'm gonna do is put the basil next. You just lay it on there just like you would lettuce. And you want a lot, a nice layer of basil because that's gonna give the whole sandwich flavor. And then you're gonna go ahead and take your turkey. Um, it would be kind of odd with some lunch meat, so I'd be really careful as far as ham or, I mean, it'd be kind of different. So you might wanna think about that. And then all you have to do now, is mayonnaise on the top. And there you have it, tomato basil sandwich.